we can divide a cylinder into three parts. Uh, the one part is called this is top and there's a bottom. And this is curved surface area. Curved surface area. To calculate the surface area of cylinder, there are two ways or two methods. One is called prism, prism approach. And the second is called net approach. So let us discuss both of them one one by one. Uh, in prism approach, first we understand uh, the cylinder is prism or not. So if a 3D object is a prism, if we cut that 3D object into slices, each slice will have same shape and same size. So if you cut this cylinder into slices, the slice will have shape, it will have a circular shape like that. So this would be the first slice, if you cut the slice, first slice. So then if you cut again, so you will have another slice of a circular slice. Okay, like that. And then again another circular slice. So you will have the same circular slices. These are all slices. And all the slices will have same shape and same size. So these are not so smooth slices because I'm using the pen on the computer. But if you use knife, all the slices would have same shape and same size. So this it means it means this cylinder which is 3D shape it is a prism so here this is the called cross section this is the first cross section these slices are also called cross section and this is the top one cross section first cross section and here in the bottom we have a last cross section we have a large cross section of circular shape so this is this is the first cross section and this is the last cross section and student the distance the length from here, first cross section to the last cross section, which is called height of the prism, and this is called height. So once again, uh, a cylinder is a prism. If you cut the prism into slices, each slice will be a same shape and same size, and each slice will be a circular slice. So these slices are also called cross sections, and the distance between the first cross section and the last cross section, that distance is called height of the prism or length of the prism. Therefore, the formula for uh, surface area of a prism and that is cylinder as well because cylinder is a prism as well. So it is uh, cross-sectional area 
perimeter, uh, perimeter of the cross section. Perimeter of cross section. times uh, height or length of the prism plus 2 times cross section area. Two times cross section area. So the perimeter of a cross section uh, is basically the circumference of the slice. Slice is also the slices are also called cross sections and uh, there the cross sections are circular so the perimeter of the circle is called basically the circumference so this is the perimeter of the cross section or a slice so this is uh, 2 pi r this is 2 pi r so the perimeter of a cross section is 2 pi r And the height of the prism, which is the length between the first cross section and the last cross section. The last cross section. The first cross section and the last cross section. The length between the first cross section and the last cross section is called height. Let me call it H. It is the height or length of the prism. So the perimeter of the cross section into height, so H plus 2 times cross section so this uh, this will give you the area of the curved surface you will get when you when, when you get when you multiply 2 pi r into h you will get curved surface area of the of the cylinder you will get this area curved surface area okay so you will get curved surface area This area, 2 pi r into h, will give this curved surface. So if this top top is closed, so we add this area as well, and because the top is circle, so we, we will add uh, the area of the circle, which is top one, and the area of the circle is pi r square. And if bottom is closed as well, so we will add this area as well, which is also circle. So basically, it is. Uh, both are circles, so we will add 2 pi r square. So, total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r, 2 pi r square. And still, what if, if the top is open and the bottom is closed? In that case, uh, the total surface area will be curved surface area 2 pi r h plus 1. 1 1 pi r square because it is closed from one side and it is open from the other side so it will be 2 pi r h plus 1 pi, pi r square and sooner what if, if it is closed from the top and the bottom so the total surface area will be in that case only 2 pi r h that is only curved surface area so I hope you understand this so this is prism approach. Let's discuss net approach. In the net approach, we cut cylinder from one from one edge like this from here. If we cut cylinder from here and we try to open the suppose we cut from here, we cut the cylinder from here, and we try and then we open this curved curve shape of the cylinder so it will be open and it will become a shape of rectangle this curve shape will become rectangle like this this rectangle and this is the top this one and this is the bottom of the cylinder okay so once it is fully open so this is the curved surface area which has become rectangle and this is the top and this is the bottom. So we have to calculate the area of this rectangle, area of this circle and area of this circle and when we add all these areas 
This will give us the total sufficiency. So, what is this? How do we know that? What is this height? How much is this height? And uh, how much is this length? And this is easy, this is circle, and uh, the area of circle is pi r square. This is also circle pi r square. So if you look the cylinder again, when we open the cylinder, when we open the cylinder, this was the this this was the shape of a circle. Okay. And this is this is called circumference of the circle which was 2 by r and when we open this so this 2 by r has become this this length this length so this length is also 2 by r okay and here this was the height of the cylinder this was the height of the cylinder so, so this is also the height of this. Okay, once we have calculated, so this 2 pi r, then just multiplying height with 2 pi r, 2 pi r is the length of the rectangle, and this is the height. And we multiply height, length into uh, breadth, we get the area. So this will give us the area of rectangle. And when we add all these three, this will give us the total surface area of the cylinder. And R is the radius of the cylinder. So you can put radius here. And then you can easily calculate this one and this one and this one. So here, the so total surface area is basically a 2 pi R, height is called H, H, plus pi r square plus pi r square, 2 pi r square. So if student, if, if the top of the cylinder is open, then we will, then the formula will become uh, 2 pi r h into 1 pi, 1 pi r square. And student, if the top is open and the bottom is open of the cylinder, then we have 2 pi r h plus 0 pi r square. Zero, zero, 0 into something is 0, so we have only 2 pi r h in that case, when the top is opened and the bottom is open. So hope you understand both the methods. One is called prism approach and the second is called net approach. Both will give you the same formula at the end.